Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We had quite the morning with the summer add-on sale. If you are not annual or you weren't able to log on to the FabFitFun site, it was a mess. It was just glitching all over the place and right away people were on the forum just like, what is going on? So FabFitFun, they did jump on it right away. They did give us updates right away and then they finally at about an hour and a half in said we have to take the sale down. It will be available at 9 a.m. tomorrow, which I thought tonight was gonna be devoted to reading up on the products so I could prepare for my big video that I've been doing since like the fall where I record my screen and tell you what I've learned about the products that are available. So I am not doing that because I can't look at the sale yet and no one can. So I decided that I would go ahead and film a video. It's been a while since I've sat here in my bathroom with you and just talked about some of the products that I've used from FabFitFun. And I have a selection here. I have a couple here that are actually in a available in the sale that I have talked about in past videos but I thought I would go ahead and recap in case you hadn't seen those videos or you forgot. They did have a few Grown Alchemist products and I was really excited about that. If you've seen any of my channel, I've actually talked about this product a few times and it is the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink Grapefruit and Glucomanon Extract. And I really, really loved the tube that I got in my fall box. That said, this is a different tube. I got this on the FabFitFun Facebook buy trade sale site, which I highly recommend you join if you haven't. I got this for 20 bucks and this, while nice, this tube is not anywhere near as luxurious as the first tube. And I think it's because of the smell. It's not as nice of a smell. It's still a pleasant smell, but the other tube that I had, it was just like spa amazingness. It was just so, well, it was awesome. So this tube smells similar to that. It's not nearly as fragrant, which is kind of nice. And then it just, it doesn't feel quite as luxurious either. It's still nice, but if this were the tube I had gotten in my fall box, I wouldn't be going around saying how amazing this is. I think it's good. This tube is good. The other one I had, it was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to just die. Just die. It was so amazing. And then on top of that, so that explained, I got a comment once on a video I did reviewing this and that person said that theirs smelled like stale bread and I couldn't figure that out but now that I have this one to compare that to my other one that was so amazing I can see why and it kind of is a testament to actually that it's botanical and the ingredients aren't blending perfectly and evenly because in other products to blend that perfectly and evenly there are chemicals that are put into the batches so that they do but it is a little bit of a gamble I am going to buy another one had I not gotten this one though, I would have just maxed out on, on all the tubes that they have. I would have gotten three, but now I'm just going to get one because I'm not sure it could end up smelling amazing and it could end up smelling like stale bread. So I'm just going to get one. I hope it leans more toward the quality of the other tube that I had. Oh, another thing I have here to talk about, I did notice some items from this brand, Noto, in there. And this is an A-gender oil for hair and body. And I bought this because somebody left an unsolicited comment in the forum um, during the sale I got this and I think it was the winter winter edit sale and they left an unsolicited comment saying that this was the best oil that they have ever used hands down it smells a little strong but it was amazing and so I threw it into my cart especially because I had done the research on the Noto brand and I really like what their practices were their business practices were and that is so important to me and it is cruelty free and this oil in particular a gender oil a portion of the proceeds went toward LGBTQIA, I think there's an A on there now, rights. And I thought that that was really awesome too. So I went ahead and put my more money toward it. And unfortunately, this is unusable for me. The smell is strong and I actually like it smelling it like this. But when I use it in my hair and on my person, <laughs> it is just too much. And I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This one's a bummer. I do stand behind the practices of this company though so if you see something else in the sale they had like three no-to things I think look into it now the next thing I want to talk about is this Murad hydrodynamic ultimate moisture I saw this in the sale when I could see the sale and it looks like it was rebranded and this is a really nice moisturizer I like it because it's unscented which is kind of hard to find it feels and it has as far as harsh ingredients it has one peg in it and as usual 
usual, if I mention an ingredient, I will put a link to a brief article in the description box below so you can go and you can read a little bit more about it yourself. So I have decided I'm going to start to steer clear of PEG ingredients or propylene glycol, they're also known as. But that is the only alarming ingredient in this one that I saw. I am still learning about ingredients. I am not an expert on ingredients. But other than the PEG ingredient, it's a nice unscented moisturizer. Also, since I bought this, I have decided not to purchase from companies that are owned by parent companies that aren't cruelty free. Murad itself is cruelty free, but they're owned by Unilever, I believe it is, and Unilever is not cruelty free. Going cruelty free is really, really hard. But I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best to be cruelty free. Now, the next thing, and this I'm really excited about, I did not see this in the sale, but this is the Bare Republic Mineral Sunscreen, and this is by Kula. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. So this a mineral sunscreen is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Those two ingredients are what make the SPF in this sunscreen and they are not harmful. They're not harmful because they're not absorbed into our skin. They sit on top of our skin to reflect the sunlight. Usually mineral sunscreens don't blend in and you can kind of see them on top of our skin. This one blends in and it doesn't smell like sunscreen. I am shaking it like crazy because I highly recommend you shake it because it does get a little bit of what seems like a watery separation and I want to show you I've sh I showed in my unboxing video, but in case you missed it, if you saw that, go ahead and skip ahead through this. I'm gonna show you how it blends. So you can kind of see it at first, but if you work it out, it it blends in and you can it becomes transparent. It's so amazing. And the texture, it feels really nice. There's an interesting powdery feel, which is just fine for me, I don't mind that. And it smells really good, kind of like a baby powdery smell. I am so in love with this, and I am not the only one. I've seen other YouTubers do, do reviews solely on this, and they say it's amazing and you can wear it well under makeup. I wanna do a get ready with me where I test this out under makeup. So be on the lookout for that video. And uh, that is it, I just have five right now to talk about. I wanted to talk about some things that were relevant to the sale. They had, they, so they had a lot of Ahava stuff, they had some Noto things, they had this particular thing, although I think that they rebranded because the packaging looked different. It was entirely purple. And then they had this. And then they did have a bunch of Kula stuff, but I didn't see this in the sale as far as I could tell. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. So many people are so frustrated with FabFitFun right now. I really hope that you're not in that boat, and I'm so sorry if you are. I fortunately have not experienced anything upsetting enough to make me say some of the things that I've been saying on the forum and I'm so sorry if that's the the boat that you're in and that you're just done and fed up with the company. I am still so excited to be able to purchase high-end items at such a discount even if it means sometimes my package will arrive a little bit late or they have a glitch with the website and I have to wait an extra day for the sale to start. But I have seen some people describe some serious issues they've had with the customer service and that stinks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye!